I'm sure you've had it, at least one coach in your life tell you, eyes on the rim, eyes on the rim, eyes on the rim. Well, that's a lie. It's a complete lie. We don't really want to look on the rim. We don't want to have our eyes locked on the rim the whole time because if I'm staring at the rim, I can't see my teammates, I can't see the defense, right? So where should I be looking at? Well, that's a little more complex. What we're going to be talking about today is the timing of our eyes or timing between the landing and the shot. And as a bonus, I'm actually going to tell you where to look at from each position on the court because that's actually pretty important and none of the players, a couple thousand players right now that I've been working with knew about it, okay? And that's very, very important, right? So now let's talk about the timing of the shot first, okay? Now, of your eyes when I shoot. I'm gonna be taking one dribble pull-ups from the elbow, okay? So what a lot of players do, a lot of players, is as they, they're driving to shoot, right? They're looking at towards where they're gonna be going, right? They're like looking down or ahead of them. They're trying to find the spot on the floor where, where to land, which that's not bad, okay? And then they pick up the ball, they raise the ball, and then they look at the rim, okay? And so if you look at the rim this late, you're not giving your brain enough time to do all the mathematics and physics needed for your brain to figure out how much force, how much angle, how much power to use to make the shot, okay? So what we wanna do is we want to look earlier at the rim. So how about, like what I said earlier, I just stare at the rim the whole time to stop and shoot, right? I will give my brain enough time to make that shot. Well, false, because if I'm looking there, I can't see my teammates. I might have a wide open pass right here, might have a wide open pass there, might have a wide open pass there. So that's just stupid, right? So now, what I actually wanna do is, when I'm attacking from the wing, okay, I want to be looking through the defense. I want to be looking through my defensive player. I wanna be looking right under the rim at the second line defense. And I wanna be looking to the weak side corner, okay? And that's the secret. You gotta be looking to the weak side corner going, if you're attacking from the wing or the corner, right? So I'm going here, I'm looking under the rim, I'm looking towards the weak side corner, I can see the second line defense, I can see the third line defense, and now, as I'm about to land, right, you might have just saw it, uh, seen it, as I'm about to land, as I'm about to one, two, right before I put my inside foot down, I'm turning my focus from what I was doing here, from the drive, into the shot, okay? So I'm going, looking there, as I'm about to land, I'm turning my focus into the shot. That way I'm giving my brain enough time to do all the math needed to make my shot. It's just plenty of time. You don't wanna to look too early because then you can't see anybody on the floor. And if you look too late, which happens like all the time, a lot of times the shots are missed. Uh, a lot of them, you know, they're short. You, you just don't wanna do it, right? So I'm looking towards the weak side corner. I'm gonna go like the Pistol Pete Cross. I'm looking uh, towards the second line defense, which is the big, and the third line defense, which is the helper in the corner, right? I go boom, boom, and then as I'm about to land, I'm just gonna turn my focus from whatever I'm doing into the shot. Let me go one more time. I'm gonna look, look, I beat them. I look to the, the other, oops. I look to the other side. Now I take my shot. Let me go one more time. Let me go with the in and out cross into a shot. I fade it a little bit. Again, I look down, I look out, boom, boom. Then as I'm about to land, I turn my focus to shoot. Now, if I'm going from the corner, same thing, right? If I'm attacking from the corner, I want to be looking at the big down low and I want to look at the guy in the corner on the opposite side or the wing. These are two of my emergency valve passes if everybody drops, boom, boom. And that's what I wanna be looking at. I wanna be looking at the emergency valve pass, right? I'm going boom, hey, I have a pass there. Now, if I was to shoot, same thing. I'm gonna look, hey, there. Then as I'm about to land, that's when I turn my focus from driving to shooting. Okay, so from the wing is the down low and the weak side corner we should be looking at. From the corner, same thing, down low, the weak side corner. And now one last thing from the top is gonna change just a little bit, okay? Because here, I'm also gonna, my first look after I beat this guy, is gonna be the big, because he's gonna be the first one 
step in, amplifier is talking at the proper, proper angle. But a second guy to step in is gonna be the strong side corner, right? So from the wings in the corner, I'm looking to the, I'm looking down low and to the weak side corner, right? Or I don't know what I said anymore, but when I'm attacking from the wing and the corner, I wanna look down low and the weak side. If I'm attacking from the top, I wanna look down low and the strong side, because that's gonna be the third line defense coming up. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, you gotta spend a little more time studying basketball you have to watch a little more games with an understanding not just watch the game and, and eat cheetos and be happy about it okay you have to understand what you're seeing and you'll see a lot of what i just talked about you'll see a lot of the players their eyes going down low going to the weak side then going to the rim going down low going to the strong side going to the rim those are very important things little things micro skills that you gotta master Patrick Krzyzewski, Coach Free Basketball. I'll see you guys next time.